Welcome back to Grand Tactician. All I really done here is to check the status of our fleet. Uh, most of the ironclads that I made are at 63%. So they're not ready. I want to wait until they're fully ready. Uh, unfortunately, that may be that the war will be over before they are completed because the union morale is rather low. We need about 19 points until they are surrendering. We are sieging this port in the Indian territories to deny the uh, Union the re income from this territory. We have we took uh, Kentucky from the yeah from the Union. We have a pretty good uh, uh, opportunity to go into the uh, Indiana territory. I think it is. No, Ohio Territory. Okay. Uh, and we could do it. Uh, uh, we are building a supply depot over here. So we could do it. South Carolina Army is going into this uh, Marietta Territory. Uh, let's see. I think these men can go into... And when they do, we need to then move forward into Columbus. Uh, yeah, we could do it. It could stretch my line. So if I go to Sineo, oh, I can't. They don't. They lack the readiness. Okay, uh, Kentucky Army. It's not the most uh, motivated army here. Uh, they have uh, some Richmonds, and yeah, well, we go for the Springfield Rifles if we want to. See if we can give give them something, we can give them a Richmond. It's better than nothing. Uh, so we can, uh, we will hold the thing we have until we have built the supply depot, I guess. Or saying it, uh, the Sharps, Sharps, Fayetteville, Fayetteville, Sharps, and We are holding the territories and the Union armies over here are routing. Which is a very good opportunity for us to maybe the 13,000 we can go into St. Louis. Let's try to go there whilst the Union armies are regrouping. We do have the territories, uh, right? So come on, go. That the well, we have a supply depot, right? Yep. Of course, that one turned out to be Union, apparently, but it should fall once Marietta has fallen.
Okay, we can choose two. Well, Evansville is a very likely target here. Let me get like, some coal from the Union. And here we have some Georgian army. We need to be controlling. See, this is a 1.3 million village, apparently. But I'd rather go to Indianapolis. Don't want to stretch myself too thin and make myself vulnerable. Let's go to Columbus now. They have a manufactory that we want. These men. Are they allowed to go to Synod? Uh, oh. Low readiness. So I show you low readiness. Nine days, so that is ready. We are slowly taking uh, some of the troops over there. Go to five speed, so we have better troops. I mean, yeah, we don't need to be the most flexible troops in the world. Let's see here. This army is moving up. The army of West Tennessee is going. Well, we have suffered over 3,000 casualties here. And unstable morale. Which is not ideal, you know, they shouldn't really be advancing here. 23, low readiness. I can agree with you here that we need to halt this one, this could have been a potential mistake. Mistake! Okay, they are retreating. Good up for them. They, uh... Yeah, I did uh, move them. Uh, let's see. Alright, uh, morale was insufficient, but we did try. Here we are building up. This, however, could be a good bridgehead. We have a. Uh... Yay, we took that Indian Territory village. Let's see here. Here we go for the medic. Army of Shenandoah is right there. Let's see.
The army of Kentucky is there, but no one is there to stop him. Okay, now you are surely ready to take on Ohio. So good, do so. We have this army ready. We will fight it. So maybe not fight it right now. See, we have taken 33, so only about seven in terms of morale left, and then they will run. I just got to check out where I can build a, de a depot. It should be by the railroad. It ideally, okay, the French Red Repulse, whatever. Uh, let's buy it there. Siege was ready. Let's go for a uh, well medic. So that's all about what we need, and then we just go for this little uh, fortress just to clear the line supply lines. Like it's not realistic to leave a fortress behind. Uh, let's see here. It's just three units of limited worth. This army of Georgia is very has a lot of faith bills or should have, yeah. See, I want to upgrade it to Sharps Rifles, but we gotta wait. Let's go for the subsidy side. I'll wait with it until we have the logistics, but I sort of want to do the training manual to help with our recruiting. Recruit. I want to have as good, uh, like, I don't want to take casualties and then have to replenish their skills. So it's better to just go for that one for now. We have such a good advantage now anyway. It could be over like uh, very, very soon. Like the Ohio is about to fall and Indiana, in Indianapolis is also about to fall. So if we got that, get, get that one, then it, the war is over. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't that many battles. I thought that the Virginian armies would be facing more opposition. 
They didn't, unfortunately. Let's see. There they have Potomac Army. Ah, Potomac Army go went to Marietta. Okay. And now we are spreading out. Or we better be spreading out rather. Uh, what's this? Okay, preparing siege. 36. They're still going to lose here if they don't not careful. There we go. In this uh, two or three. Okay, in this mission three, it was. We could. I don't want to do the turrets or. I don't see the need for diplomacy. It could be mainly for the ships in that case. Uh, there's no other thing that like uh, is really appealing to me right now. The army Kentucky is going to contest this uh, by the South Carolina army. Okay, they have two armies here, so that's good that they're not gonna just uh, let me uh, go unopposed. And I think the Marietta, I, I need to take that back. Uh, that's simply unacceptable. Okay, let's see. So we'll have this battle over here with quite a few armies. 31,000 to 60,000. So two to one advantage to them. But I have cannons. They do not. We have hope. They do not. Uh, so yeah, Indiana might also uh, uh, also succeed to the confederates and that will then be splitting up the union territories in two so let's fight this one Okay, we're facing. Okay, let's see here. So they will be coming, arriving from this direction. Okay, then it's by the river. I don't think they will go go by the railroad. I think they will come through here. We have will have the woods, and that's a. Great defensive position for us. Let's see, we have six pounders apparently. So yeah, I should have paid more attention to what. Oh. 
mixed muskets. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, gonna complicate things a little bit. I will take more casualties than I want. Okay, booty guard. There we go. And so we have some Richmond rifles there, and here we have a Sharps carbine, which is good. We're gonna, we're gonna need that one. Uh, let's go to this week, and we are going to block the that with our uh, yeah with our muskets, I guess. Uh, we don't have many options. We better just hold that territory. Build some parapets to help with the defense. Let's see, I want to be, I am holding this territory, what does I have? Richmond, 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 and Richmond carbines, they are Richmond rifles. So these are very well equipped groups. Uh -huh. Lose order. I'll take some of these uh, Richmond rifles here to the side. So they are protecting I, this officer's aura can't help protect them all so it's better not to even try it but better to be a realistic about odds that's one of the challenges uh, later in the game like you have you get new regiments you lose track of what the, each army has and so on so on so yeah we can have the those cannons over there it can shoot hopefully shoot whatever that tries to cross here or in the middle perhaps yeah the middle perhaps is better so then i know if they're gonna come down this side they're not trying to go here then i can divert this rifle these uh, regiments to over here if i need it need to let's see yeah, these are carbine can't really move. These are good training. Army of Kentucky, where will that one be? From the same spot or somewhere else? I think they go through the same spot over here. So yeah. Where is the other army coming down? All the way down. Oh, they're going up. Uh-huh. 
Oh, dear heavens, here they come. Come on, lads. Yeah. It'll be annoying if they have long range rifles and I can't uh, stop them. <laughs> uh, and I can shoot back at them. That will be horrible. But we are as soon at the redeployment stage. Now when I know where the army are, I can actually move these newer regiments to the rear to guard this. Because the enemy will have to come through this little bottleneck if they want to go through here. So I can move all these rifles around to the side. So use that to the woods. And gun them down. But the AI always seem to know how m much range I have. So... <laughs> Let's see how many... Uh, yeah, we took more casualties than the enemy, of course. Let's see what we can do. Let's move all of these. And let's move them over here, sir. Yes, and then we hold these two back. Let's see, we can maybe... Maybe we can get uh, something uh, in here. Maybe we can get uh, some artillery shooting in the enemy flank. But these are just six pounders. So I have to be wary of that, that they will not really do much. Instead of just, they will just do, do morale damage in that case. Okay, and here we will have to move this little carbine a bit better. How can we do this one? We can upgrade this one. This will be more formidable. And upgrade this. Yeah, yeah that will work. Okay, let's start. Hey, we caused some casualties there. Apparently. Oh. The six pounder do have three rounds per minute. So they're not totally hopeless. Let's try to provoke an assault. And you, men, use counter battery fire, target their artillery. We're sending out some skirmishers so the enemy artillery will target them and not the big regiments. Advance and run.
Oh, here they come. Skirmishers, fall back. You can shoot the enemy, then do so. Oh, come on, I told you to bloody run, then run. Thought they took six casualties. No, Johnny. Well, the enemy will soon make their little move. They don't seem to be interested in this at all. But I'm going to have them there as a rear guard. We're able to get some volleys in here. Halt! Can we get some volleys in here? To provoke them forward. Okay, there we go. Fall back. Fire! Reload! Which is smart of them to send out skirmishers in front. But they should have like a more established line first. Move up, send out skirmishers so that my men waste volleys on the skirmishers. Their main regiments are coming up. I only fire about 2.5 rounds per minute. So these are not 3 rounds per minute or 9 rounds per minute so that I would get the dispenser. So all I, all I need to do is just keep skirmishing and keep uh, shooting the enemy if I'm able to. down because we need to uh, preserve ourselves we lose firepower by every lost man so Okay, they couldn't shoot. Every man killed is a joy, and every man lost is a pain. Uh, I'd rather make you a solid line. Retreating, sir. Fire.
the sharps carbine can go over here. That is much more better, I think. The enemies seem to be mainly concentrating over here. Uh, my artillery are now at threat. I must retreat them if I'm if, if able. Uh, and I can harass the enemy artillery over here. To the keep, get your men out of there. Halt and shoot. Enemy cavalry is routing, sir!
I'm shooting them here, they're not even reacting to it. I hope it's not the detachments, but... Trying to be clever here and out flanking me, and it's gonna work. I hope not, but maybe shoot. I hope that this water will not make it so that I'm, they're not in range. able to cross.
executing, killing some officers here apparently. Maybe we are able to wound an officer. Oh no! Hold steady, boys! The enemy morale seems to be very low. Falling just deep in his back so they can be supported by the sharp carbine. Gunning them down there, and we will First battery. They're slowly shooting them up.
Uh, enemy morale is low. Unfortunately, not low enough.
Yeah, we're we probably hurting this officer. The enemy army doesn't seem to be very coordinated or they're bugged by this river. Fire! Taking some prisoners over there, I guess. But I don't see any melee uh, animation, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we're shooting them up a little bit at a time. I'm still far away from our major victory. But the enemy should be more and more demoralized the longer the time goes on. Oh, even more men are coming in now. I thought they already had used all their regiments. Apparently not.
Okay, they're setting up detachments and then it's okay to stay. Here I'm just shooting their... Yeah, I'm probably shooting their main regiment there. Shoot him! Shoot him! Fire! The boy going by the creek. Come on! Kill their cavalry! A full on frontal assault! Fire! Fire! And oh, that was a deadly volley. Fire, fire, fire!
Run for your life! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Damage like both their regiments over here are caught in a stray bullet that doesn't hit the first bad regiment, hits the second regiment. Potentially be very bad for me. But they're still holding up. a very high concentration over here. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, fire. Now we should have a major victory. I think we have reached the percentage needed. Almost. Now as the men are beginning to demoralize, every mo more and more of them are gonna... There we 
now they're breaking. Excellent. Most excellent. Keep hurting their infantry. Yep, I know, I know, I know, god damn it. There's not some skirmishes here. Or maybe a 5 to 1 ratio here. seem to be abandoning their cannons regardless and though I want well, to see what's this okay we took out an about enemy battery that's good we could have probably gotten more but I don't really have the many cavalry units but here it would have been great The five thousand, eight thousand, eight hundred prisoners. The state strategy is so about ten more points. And here we got nine points there. So if I can manage the army of South Carolina to get something more formidable, the Mississippis are absolutely better than the Richmonds. So we can give them that for now. Do you want to have a Springfield rifle? Here they have a Richmond and yeah, we we keep that. Here we get with a with a plain rifle. No, we Go on and go for Richmond's here. So now this is a well equipped uh, army. They did survive, they did their part. And if, yeah, now the war should be over if I manage to take both this Indian Indianapolis and uh, this. Uh, the war should be over by then. I was a bit surprised how lack of aggression here in the Virginia area. I did think that they would make a better effort right there, but no. Uh, and I'm a bit disappointed that I wasn't able to use my ships. Uh, so I was also planning to do that, but maybe I took two, two advanced ships so I could break them and blockade them help out but it turned out that I didn't need it this, this turn let's see what I need let's see uh, let's see here Sinas or Uh, 
Okay, we're taking that territory. Now we have that cleared out. We should now move to Marietta again. So we can just to contesting it because even if the Union takes casualties, but I actually think the war will be over now. Or maybe one point less. So we will just wait and see what happens. The chapter in Genopolis has been taken. Army of Tennessee, go up to Fort Wayne. That should cause lots of pain. Yeah, in just in case I don't manage to take it. Now it is... 28, so three more points, and we will be right on schedule, sir. The Army of Georgia is moving forward. And we have this bill, we're making our supply lines. Tennessee is moving up. We are. Definitely move. What's this? What is this? What are they? What are they? What, what are they preparing siege for? Is it a fortress? All right. Let's then let them do so then. See here. Base of our troops. Okay. Department of Ohio comes here. 20,000 men. We will have to fight with no artillery of our own. Oh, they were, were retreating. Okay. And we got an officer back. Apparently, let's see. We have Fort Adabaco. What's that? A little update then. Okay, let's, if I move, well, this is a small detachment, I could maybe go to Cumberland, it's a, I need to spread out my uh, forces <laughs> this is a very small army well I guess I can go to Wheeling. Unfortunately, they had a fortress there, I didn't see it. Uh -huh. They're supposed to. Ah, uh, they must have an army there. That must be an army. Because they're not... Oh! I defeat! Okay. What the hell, man? <laughs> Vastly superior force. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That will increase their morale. Let's see what we can do with these forces. We have Mississippi and Western Louisiana. Plain and come on and want to fight.
Well, take Cumberland, goddammit. If they can go to Cumberland and siege it. Then we are free to move up to Wheeling here. And... Oh! And here we won. Well, this uh, campaign did take a while to complete. I did not manage to use my navy, so less advanced ships next time would probably be better. And, uh, yeah, I didn't need to import any weapons. If I do a future campaign on this, uh, then I probably will try a mod for this... Uh, um, yeah, to Grand Tactician to see the difference of it. So I hope you enjoy the campaign and soon I will just start uploading the Ultimate Admiral uh, or those uh, videos I fi find uh, worth because it's uh, no point in having same things happen all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. Bye.